unbelievable. You know, going back to childhood, there's Kurt Gowdy. You know, Kurt, I remember. And Ben Scully. Ben's still working. Holy cow, give the kids a chance. It's like that. Ernie Harwell, you know, he stood there like the house on the side of the road and watched it go by. Russ Hodges, Bob Elston, you know. These are all guys that uh, obviously are live with us all. Growing up in Oklahoma, I really didn't have a, uh, well, I didn't have a radio, so it was hard to listen to broadcast the games. Uh, we finally got a transistor, I think, when I was 47. And uh, well, we watched the game of the week, Kirk Gowdy. Uh, uh, I mean, it wasn't Kurt Gowdy. I hear him I talking about Dizzy Dean, Pee Wee Reese, and, Cl and uh, Kirby. It was just, uh, you know, what was our Saturday afternoon when we didn't have a baseball game? We were watching. So there's always the guys that are memorable. Uh, going with Lou Boudreau and going into Wrigley Field was always fun because you had Jack Brickhouse and uh, guys that will live on. And, they, and it's so great that we were able to honor them. Uh, last year, Eric went in, uh, an opportunity to really you know, appreciate those people that brought so much to the, to our homes, so much vision. I mean, to be able to live through their eyes and their voices was always special. So I think anybody that goes by and sees these people will all of a sudden their imagination will take off again because they heard that great call, either a World Series call, a home run call, um, but they, they were personalities, they were characters. But there's still that one and only Vin Scully that's still out there and guys that are still doing the job. They love it and we love them.